Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back. Guiding Light here with another Destiny Rumble Challenge. Now, in today's Rumble Challenge, we are actually using the Necrochasm. Now, this gun is a pretty old exotic back from year one, and it was actually quite hard to get. It took a lot of steps and could get a little frustrating with getting the husk of the pit, and then you had to go to Crota due to the hard raid, and it was just a very long process, but I actually did go ahead and get it in year one, and I haven't really used it for quite a while. The last time I used it was actually in my Trials of Osiris Necrochasm Challenge. And now we're going to hop into Rumble, classic free-for-all, and we're actually on my Warlock this time, and we're going to actually use the Thunderstrike melee to our advantage here, because the Necrochasm is pretty good, but a lot of people do rush quite often when you're using Necrochasm, they see it, and they'll either just rush up on you with shotguns and stuff like that, so I'm going to just use the Thunderstrike, make sure I can melee some people from about 2-3 miles away, and we're going to probably come out with a win quite easily. So let's hop up into this classic free-for-all game, see what map we get, it's going to be quite interesting. And let's just see how how hard we can go with this Necrochasm. Alright, so we joined in a bit late. It's 3.30 to 0. I'm not too worried though. We are on Asylum, which is pretty good for us because this actually pretty should be a pretty good map for the Necrochasm. It's actually the exact same map I got whenever I was playing Trials of Osiris for that challenge as well. Now, like I said, the Necrochasm is pretty good, but the second... Whoa. Alright. But yeah, the Necrochasm is actually pretty damn good. Now, if you go into my Trials of Osiris challenge, you'll see it's not exactly very good when their light level advantages are turned off and in my opinion though it is kind of one of the worst exotics in destiny not maybe not the worst for other people but in my opinion this probably is the worst i can't really think of any others that would actually be this like unperforming now it's not that it, to say that it's the worst one maybe for other people though because i know a lot of people went in the comments and said that they loved it and that, like i was an idiot just a fool for thinking that this was just like the worst gun ever but in all honesty i just i don't know for me it's just not my preferred weapon and I feel like it just takes just too many bullets to actually go ahead and get a kill. Especially with some people that have higher armor, or especially with that guy that had the ram helmet on. It's just, I feel like there's better options out there, and the time to kill on it is a bit long. But there we go with that Thunderstrike melee. We're going to go ahead and use that to our advantage quite often in this game, as much as I can. And honestly, I almost have the lead already, so being far behind when, at the start I definitely is not going to be a problem here. Now I'm also using the Irene RR4 Sniper, I believe. That thing has a pretty crazy scope on it. I'm sure I'll pull it out at some point during this gameplay so you guys can see that. I don't want to really use it too much though because I wanted to keep this strictly to Necrochasm. However, you should see that thing up here in this video just a few times here and there. And that sniper's quite good. I've got a pretty ridiculous roll on it. I've got like luck in the chamber and unflinching which is pretty damn insane. That's got to be one of the luckiest rolls I've gotten on any of the snipers. And I believe if you have weapons of light and you hit somebody with the luck in the chamber round you can actually get a one hit kill. With, which is pretty damn ridiculous to get a one hit kill with a sniper rifle. It doesn't even have to be a headshot, I believe. I think you can still do it. I don't know if they've actually made any changes to make that not possible anymore or not. But I do believe back in the day, if you had weapons of light, you could actually get a one shot kill with that luck in the chamber round, which to me sounds pretty insane. Now, especially in Trials of Osiris, I don't know if that would work with the light level advantages, but honestly, if it did, that would just be unstoppable, especially on like this week's map Frontier. I know a lot of people have actually been running Bubble Titan. I've run into like six or seven Bubble Titans this week, uh, but it's been pretty damn good. And I have gone flawless about three or four times this week, which is pretty damn cool. Now we also did just get the lead in this gameplay, 1025 to 1005. Ended up coming back from a three kill deficit. And I believe I just start to pull away from these guys here in just a moment. And this game kind of just takes a turn for the better for me. I know this Necrochasm isn't exactly the best with light level advantages turned off. I think it does like seven damage to the body or seven damage to the head the whole every time. So it's like, the time to kill when light level advantages are off is absolutely ridiculous. It's like a good 4-5 or five seconds just straight shooting someone to end up actually getting that kill. Now, honestly, in that gameplay with me and Charles Lasaris, I ended up actually doing a lot better than I ever thought that I would and pulling out way more kills than I actually thought possible, even killing some people in their supers, which is pretty cool. Now, here's the Irene sniper rifle, like I said before. It has a pretty funky scope on it. I think that's only on the Irene snipers. I don't think you'll see that scope anywhere else. I know I haven't seen it on any of the other sniper rifles I have. At first, I thought it was horrible. I was like, what is this thing? How do people use this? Like, I don't even know why they would put this in the game. But after using it a few times, I did start to like it, and it seemed like way more stable than a lot of my other scopes for some reason. The way that it was just balanced and the way that that, like, Amelon O was kind of used for the scope, I thought it was actually pretty damn cool. And I started liking the sniper way more after that, and the way that this thing fires, too, is pretty awesome. Now the best thing about the Amelon weapons in my opinion is if any time that you see like the liquid inside of the gun, every time you shoot or every bullet that you goes off, the liquid will actually go down so you'll always know how many bullets are left in your magazine. That's pretty cool in my opinion. I really like to see that on more some more weapons like that way you don't always have to check the bottom of your screen in order to know how many bullets you have left. You can just check like something that's on your gun already 
and like see Maybe whenever you need to reload based off that. Just because it's, I don't know, it's a little faster, it's a, I feel like it would make things a little more fast paced because you don't have to take your eyes away from your gun, you can just kind of look at it, glance at it real fast, and know, alright, I gotta reload, alright, I got like one, two shots left, Five just based off the liquid in the gun, that's definitely a really cool available. thing, and I would definitely like to see it on some more guns here in the future, especially with the Rise of Iron coming quite soon. Maybe, who knows, maybe we'll see that on some more guns. Now, if you guys are still watching this video, I just wanted to say thank you guys to all of the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel, hopefully you guys are enjoying things with these Rumble Challenges and stuff like that. And just let me know if you guys want to see any sort of order started content on the channel. Anytime anybody that's new, just be sure to leave a comment. Let me know if you guys want to see any other sort of games. I know I, like, I still have Call of Duty, I have Minecraft, I've got Battlefield Hardline, No Man's Sky. I've got a ton of other games. I do try to stick to Destiny as much as possible. I do really like this game a lot. But when like, Call of Duty 4 comes out, maybe, or COG 4 Remastered, or whatever you guys really want to call it. Whenever that comes out, I know I'm going to be playing that a little bit as well. Battlefield 1 I'll be playing here and there too. So just let me know if you guys want to see any other content, like any other, like, sort of, maybe a Rumble Challenge or a Free-for-All Challenge in Call of Duty or something like that, too. I do have that game, and I, I do enjoy it, although Black Ops 3 isn't exactly my favorite Call of Duty of all time. I do like more of the boots-on-the-ground games, so I'll definitely be playing COD 4 Remastered when that comes out uh, quite a lot. That's one of my favorite games of all time, and that was actually the first game I ever got on my PlayStation 3. The, old, the first game I ever played multiplayer, like, like actual, like, online 6v6, like, any type of actual online multiplayer game. Well, that was actually the first time I ever played it, back when that first came out. So that was, I don't know, that game has some sort of like nostalgia to it. And pretty much anyone that's played it knows what I'm talking about. It's just one of the best Call of Duty's ever, of all time, really, in my opinion. It's got to be the best one of all time. But I will keep doing these Destiny Rumble Challenges. Just let me know what the next one you guys want me to do is. And I will re be, I read basically every single comment that you guys leave on every single video. I do read basically every single comment. So anytime that you guys leave a comment, I do read it. I know I don't respond to like every single person because it's hard sometimes. And I try not to respond to the hateful comments because it's just really not worth my time. But if you guys leave a positive comment or just want me to do some sort of rumble challenges or something like that, I definitely always try to respond to as many of you guys as I can. And I really do appreciate all the support you guys give me on these videos. Honestly, it's been pretty crazy over the last month. I've gotten more subscribers over the past month than I have like over the past year. So definitely pretty happy about that, guys. And I really just want to say thank you for that as well. But this gameplay is almost coming to a close. The storm trance absolutely devastates. Like the range on that storm trance is just as crazy as the melee, but honestly Storm Trance is like my favorite super, the thing just is unstoppable most of the time, as long as you don't have a blade dancer or something like somebody that's really good at sniping, it's basically just like unstoppable, but as you can see guys, I came out with the win here, never ended up getting a Firefly double kill or anything like that, which would be pretty cool, I really don't know why Firefly is on this gun, I've never really been able to like, or Curse Thrall Explosion really is what it's actually called, but I haven't actually been able to ever get any double kills with the Necrochasm, I did go 21 and 10 though, 2.1 KD, I don't even think I got any kills with my sniper rifle, so those were basically all Necrochasm kills and grenade kills, but other than that guys, hopefully you enjoyed, drop a like if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.